Oh, we're recording. Happy Friday, folks. Um, I want something to take you into the weekend. Can I just say, by the way, uh, thank you so much for all the response uh, to my podcast lately. They have been awesome. Um, don't get me wrong. I'm sure there's people out there that don't like them, but luckily you don't tell me. So I don't get nobody. Well, I get I got I got one person saying my content was meh and get a proper job um, on my on my email, but that's that's it. So yeah, thank you very much. Talking of testimonials, um, this is what I want to talk to you about today. And I did this in my newsletter, by the way, if you want to sign up to my newsletter, mrselfstorage.com, or in other ways, mrselfstorage.com, spelt the same, just spoke differently, which is uh, frustrating. <laughs> I don't know. Every time I see it now, all I see is Mrs. Elf Stor- Self Storage. Uh, Mrs. Elf Storage. That's all I see now. So anyway, right. So today we're talking testimonials. Uh, I wrote about this on my newsletter on the 5th of April and I got a great response. So I thought it was just about time to mention it on the podcast because it's it's crucial. It's so important. And do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to bring up um, my... Oh, jeepers creepers. That's uh, Mr. Beast coming up and on an advertisement for me. Right. I'm going to bring it up here. Let's have a look. On Stormall, let's have a look. Stormall self storage, and this is just a Google reviews. So we've got 175 Google reviews. That, my friends, is incredible, and I think it's so so important. That's why I want to talk to you about today because we have we're having social proof. And not only that, 175 people have actually took time and effort to write a Google review about our business, which is fantastic. But that also means they're going to use their social currency to tell their friends and family. There's no way that people can be given a five star. And by the way, we've got an average of 4.9 out of five. Somebody scoring you a five star. But you, by, by them writing a testimonial, you're reinforcing that message to them because when somebody thinks it, but then writes it down as well, it's reinforced even deeper into their subconscious. So when anybody asks about self-storage, they've got two points of reference. One, they've wrote the review, and two, they must afford it anyway in the first place. And so we've, we've got two points there, two ports that we're hooking to. So testimonial, so important. Here's why. If you've ever listened to it, it's what I put in the, in the newsletter. If you've ever, ever, ever listened to me before, Please let it be about this. Testimonials are social proof. People make buying decisions based on social proof. We need to ask for testimonials. If you don't ask, you don't get. And you have to make it so easy for the customer. It, the easier it is for the customer, the better. I can't remember where I was, but I nicked this and took it for myself. They had a card which said, please leave a testimonial. And they had a QR code to the testimonial page. I thought that was incredible because it's so simple to do. You'd have to log on to Google. You'd have to find Stormo. You'd have to... It's bang, straightforward, simple, bosh. Um, we email people and we, we send them a link. And we also send them a link for FIFA as well because we want FIFA reviews because that's independent as well. And we've got over 300 reviews on there. We're apps. I'll tell you what, I'll see if I can find it for you. Let's have a look. See, I I could be wrong. 300 sounds an awful lot. Let's have a look. Five star reviews. Oh, we have. Yeah, we've got 373 verified reviews, five stars. That's mental. So we've got 170 something, whatever I said on Google, and 373 on FIFA. God, I'm real proud of that. I'm real proud of that. That is, that's awesome. And we've had the Platinum Trusted Award um, for 2021, 2022 as well. We've had the Gold Trusted Award for FIFA 2018, 2019, 2020. Um, and then the Platinum Award 2020, 2021, 2022. Anyway, this isn't about how good we are. Although now I'm just thinking, shit, you should have talking about yourself. Right, so uh, back to testimonials. We need to ask them. If you don't ask, you don't get. Some people feel a bit icky asking. It's well worth that icky feeling asking. Um, I put here, Ham- Amadilla in Hull. I've been there for at least 10 years before Stormore came. However, we have more testimonials on it. Why? Because we put a real focus on it as a company. We give bonuses based on every single testimonial. And I recommend you do the same as well. For every testimonial we get, I can't even remember how much we give the team, but everybody gets a bonus for it. And because if if I've done a good job and someone does a testimonial, why not? And it doesn't have to say that one individual. It just has to be about Stormore. That's it. Any review is a, is a bonus. Um, testimonials are like a secret power and, a, and very few people harness that power. I mean, look at the reviews we've got. Our conversion. I don't think that, that, that there's no correlation between our conversion rate is way above average, but our reviews are way above average as well. I do believe that but the reviews and the testimonials we've got have made a massive, massive difference to the testimonials that we are getting as a company. 
I think the two are interlocked. So there are more reviews and more testimonies you get, the higher your conversion rates. I'm absolutely convinced. Obviously, I can never prove that scientifically, but it just feels, it feels so correct. In order to get testimonials, you have to make it easy for the customer. Send them a link in an email. Give them a QR code that goes straight to the review page. Written testimonials are good. There's a kicker. Video testimonials are the holy grail. If you can put a few of these on your website, you are smashing it. And don't get me wrong, you're gonna, it's going to be hard. It's going to be really, really hard to find customers who are willing to do a video testimonial because people don't like being on camera. And I know Laura Moxon is asking for a video testimonial from me. And uh, it was me who said I'd, I'd give her a testimonial. She said, Dean, you told me to bug you. And I'm like, oh, shit, yeah, I've got to do it. And so even I feeling a little bit, even I, like, oh, even you, um, I'm feeling a little bit uneasy about the video testimonial. And so if I, if I feel uncomfortable because I'm on camera all the time doing it, then how is a customer going to feel? So we've got to be, we've got to understand that the customers, the customers, are going to feel a little bit uneasy and apprehensive. So we don't want to force them to. But what we did, we had a camera set up in our office and we everybody who walked past, we just said, oh, by the way, have you just got a couple of minutes to answer two questions? And we, we made it dead easy. We asked a question and then they said they said whatever they said. And, um, and then that was a testimonial. So we made it easy for the customer. We didn't ask them, um, just to say, can can you do? Can you send in the video testimonial? Because that, then there's too many barriers there. There's too many things that can go wrong, and there's too many ways it can't happen. So we made it easy for the customer by having a camera set up. Anybody who came in the reception who was a customer who we knew liked us, then then we 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 did it. And she said, look, we're going to ask you a couple of questions. We make it as easy as possible. If you don't want us to, do, if you don't if you don't feel comfortable, we will put it on the website. Don't worry. And so we made it quite easy. So testimonials, please please harness the power of testimonials. They are so so important. And Laura. Yes, it was my idea who said, I'll send you a testimonial and now you keep asking me for it. And uh, and so I will I will send it across. All right, friends, family, I love you. I appreciate you. And oh, by the way, shout out to Laura. If, one second. Talking to my good great friend, Laura Moxon. And look what, look what she got me. And by the way, you podcast listeners, um, you have no idea. It's basically a massive, massive balloon and it's got loads of balloons inside it. And it actually says on it, um, love you and appreciate you, Dean. And I'll tell you the story. So, uh, <laughs> and then I'll go. And so, so everybody, by the way, LinkedIn, I think you get about a thousand listens a video, a thousand watches a video. And I don't know, and the podcast, I think I get like, 500 and something. So pe most people will be able to see it. Um, anyway, so the story is we got, we got this, uh, we got this book here of, uh, we got this big box um, that was obviously a balloon into the office. And my wife happened to be working that day. She only works two days a week there for five hours and two days because of kids school and stuff. And she, she ran up and goes, Dean, what's this? What have you got me? I'm like, um, nothing. And our anniversary is next week. And she's like, Oh, there's something here. saying a balloon for, for you. And so I just, presumed it was for me for our anniversary. You you was organizing, you got it sorted. And I was like, um, no, sorry. <laughs> and she was, <laughs> and then she was like, oh, well, you seem to have a balloon from somebody. I said, well, I'm going to stay on the phone. Let's open it. And then all of a sudden she goes, love you, appreciate you, Dean. <laughs> Claire, I promise you, I don't know who it's from. And so it went from her loving me and thinking that I was awesome because I had, a, had arranged the anniversary present meant a mental nut to myself. Now I still haven't got anything next, for next week, next Friday. Um, and it went from her loving me, thinking I was awesome, to her thinking, what the fucking hell's going here? Dean's got a, a balloon delivered to work saying, I love you and appreciate you. I'm like, Claire, it's not what it looks like. I swear, I don't know who it is. <laughs> I said, there must be a card. Anyway, the card, and it's from Laura Mox and the team who do, by the way, paper clicks. So, yeah. And so then she was okay with me. So, whew. Um, problem ended. Could have been bad, but it wasn't. So, Laura, really, really appreciate that. And by the way, if anybody else wants to send me any gifts, happy for you to send me a gift and I shout you out on the podcast. <laughs> right, I've got to go because I've got to play football with a kid. I love you, appreciate you, and but nobody sent me that, something like that. Okay, just on cue, is a kid. Do you want to quickly say hi? Hi. He's all dressed up today because it is um, it's a coronation. They're having a big do, and so he's wearing a dicky bow tie. Don't he look smart? Look at that. He look awesome. Yeah. No, he's, he's like me. He likes a hoodie. Uh, he likes comfy clothes. Right. Love you. Appreciate you. I'm going. Bye.